Hi there. So I found another device at Goodwill that has an LCD screen. I paid two dollars for it, or two fifty. So it's half off. It's partially dismantled already. The screen was loose, but. Um, this looks like a four row, maybe 60 or 80 character wide display, so that caught my interest. And uh, I've already removed the cover screw. And uh, this was attached to the front faceplate at some point, but they had uh, apparently hit the screen so hard they uh, broke the plastic pegs off. So. Good thing the screen wasn't damaged, I don't think. But uh, this has a standard 16 pin plug on it, so I'm hoping it's a standard wiring. I, uh, I don't know about the rest of this thing. I suppose I should take it apart and have a look at it. There's only a few screws to get this keyboard off. I am not real sure. What all these parts are. So it might be a wise choice to look them up, I suppose. So this chip here is a ZPS D211R, which is a programmable microcontroller for uh, peripherals. This is interfaced into all the I.O. devices. You know, infrared, keyboard, and so on. This is just a general purpose microcontroller. 68HC11. Really common. It's an HC574, which is an octal three-state non-inverting D type flip-flop. So are all those. They are apparently on the keyboard. And a 74HC573A, which is similar. It's an octal transparent D type latch with three state outputs. And here you have a RAM and a ROM. So there's not a lot here that I would say is worth saving. Maybe a uh, the peripheral microcontroller. Crystal, maybe. It's an 8 megahertz crystal. Well worth taking that apart and salvaging this. Especially if it works. That'll be the real test. Let's see if I can get this thing powered up. All right, so let's get this guy here for a contrast adjustment. Going to make this a ground bus. So here we have it hooked up correctly with the four parallel data pins. We have an enable line connected to 11. The RS line connected to 12. And a contrast adjustment here. So it turns out this is actually just two 40 by two row LCD panels, one above the other. They share all of the same data pins, 
the only pin that is not shared is the enable line. So there are two enable lines on this header. One will enable the top LCD display. The bottom one will enable the bottom. So you enable this, right to it, disable it. Enable this, right to it, disable it. So you can see here, if I swap these around, the enable lines. Reset this. Now I'm writing to the bottom display just by swapping the enable line. Swap it back. Now I'm writing to the top. And I've modified the liquid crystal example program here to write to both displays. I've moved the second enable line over to pen 10. So now if I reboot, you see the whole display resets. I have a writing message in English at the top and Spanish at the bottom. And they're both counting the same number of seconds since boot up. So I think that was worth two dollars and fifty cents. You know, the thing was falling apart anyway and here I have a really nice display that I can use for other stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.